Hi, everybody. Welcome to Chicks Talking Picks. It's Jenny and Sandy again. Hi, Jenny. How you doing? All right. How are you doing, Sandy? I am good. I'm wearing bright orange today, thinking maybe flowers will be popping up in the garden soon. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I like your oh, background. Oh, gotten enough rain, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. I like your background, though. Is that a balloon background? Yeah, it's we when I'm been playing around with the uh, intentional camera movement with balloons. Cool. And they move slow, so it's kind of does some weird things. <laughs> well, that one looks really neat. I like that. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, well, today we have um, three images, and uh, let's just kind of move on in. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Let's take a look at that first image we got coming up uh, shortly here. <laughs> I try to move on and uh, let's see, technical difficulties. There we go. All right. All right. Here's our first image. I think Jenny always goes first. She, she, uh, she has a few things to say about this image and I'm going to uh, back her up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, to start with, the lighting on the flowers is really harsh. And while I'm not positive, to me, it looks like flash. Um, and it's not really doing any favors. There's a lot of reflections. Like on the stem, you can see little white um, reflected light. And um, there's kind of a white halo around things. I don't know if that's from the lighting or post-processing. Um, I didn't get my annotation tools up here, did I? Um, doo -doo -doo. Wow. Anyway, um, the I'll just explain where till I can find my annotation tools. Um, down this lower flower, there's kind. Of, thank you, Sandy. There's a the spot we were talking about is kind of off the tip of that flower. Looks like something was cloned or some weird stuff's going on there. Um, while I'm usually a fan of negative space, I don't think it's working in this respect. And um, to, I don't know how to say it. The background is distracting, <laughs> let's just say that. Um, the cloud is just really, gray it's all dark and the very phallic symbol in the side doesn't do the any favors for the image I don't think Sandy take it away yeah I totally agree with you on all of those things um I don't like the composition at all personally mm -hmm. uh I think it would be better if um you just included the flowers whether you use a flash or not wouldn't bother me except that it is a very harsh lighting source and very different from the background and probably why you got such a dark background but I want to I want to move on to the next slide because the next slide has the the um oh, I've got to get out of here XF yeah the the data that <clears throat> the photographer used and an f22 this has got me uh like Back in your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? Um, uh, you know, uh, ISO 50, that kind of tells me you're probably using flash because it was so slow and it's pretty sharp. And um, I don't know. I just, I, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. The The background Sawara or whatever that is, uh, is way out of focus. If you were at an F22 I, you know, I'm just not sure about this whole thing. It just not a um, not anything that I would uh, put forward in any kind of competition. I don't even think you would crop it into a comp, you know, somewhere to in a composition. I think it needs a lot of work. No, I don't see any way to crop it and yeah, and improve anything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, on to the next one. So sorry, maker. We just didn't. <laughs> We were, we were both in agreement that we we're not liking that image. However, this image, on the other hand, is a very nice image. I love it. Love the reflection. I love the um, the forward motion of the bird, the catch light in the eye. 
uh, the composition is really not nice. I mean, I think it might, you might've uh, given a little more space at the top and a little bit less at the bottom. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of a personal preference. I might've liked to have seen a little bit. Um, the bird's a little tight in the top on the top is what I'm thinking, but then I wouldn't want to see his reflection cut off either. So, but I think it's a beautiful little image. Um, could use a little more contrast, maybe. Um, Jenny, go ahead. Um, yeah, I love the soft lighting on this, um, which contrasts really well with the harsh lighting we had in the last image. Um, yeah, I was thinking about the cropping, but I wouldn't want to come in closer on the reflection on the bottom. So I don't, yeah, a little more space on the top, but I didn't wouldn't want to bring the bottom in any um maybe the left side could come in a little bit from the because there's mm -hmm. just the bush over there um but i you wouldn't want to bring it in too much and make it square or anything like that um yeah otherwise i think it's just very nicely done the composition's nice the lighting's nice yeah there's no obvious distractions or anything it's very nice yeah i agree let's take a look and see what the uh um xf data is there we go 1 25th of a second at f63 and iso 400 makes perfect sense to me because why are you up at 1 25th of a second 1 2050th of <laughs> sorry 2500 uh, yeah 1 2500th of a second um because you're anticipating movement in that bird that you want to stop so I totally agree with all of those settings. Looks great. Yep. Okay. And we've got one more image. <clears throat> Jenny, you can go first. Um, so I, I like abstracts. I think this has um, got a really nice color pattern to it. And the what I would assume are water droplets. Um, it's a little dark on the left, I think. Um, and... I think um, maybe cropping up from the bottom a bit where it's really dark. The, the darker sides distract me a little bit, um, especially since the right side is, you know, very bright. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting on its own, but it also is something that if you're into compositing or doing textures, it would make a really nice background to some other sort of artistic um, composite work. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah. And I kind of agree upon uh, with you also, Jenny. Um, I do like the um, the look of it. It reminds me of um, a Christmas card, maybe, or something like that. Uh, I think I see something at the very top that I'm not um, crazy about. Let's right up here. Oh, there's it now. kind of uh, just the a, edge of a drop or something. Edge of a drop. Yeah. Yeah. I think that might, you might take that out. Very, very slight, but um, you definitely want to get rid of that. Um, mm -hmm. And other than that, uh, I kind of like it for a backdrop. Um, yeah. I think that the, the water droplets are positioned nicely, composition wise. I think all the the strength is kind of diagonal coming out of the top left corner. Um, I don't know, just, there's not much to say about it, it except mm -hmm. it would be, um, you know, it, it, it had to have been on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, take your camera off of autofocus and manually focus the size you want those water droplets or the, you know, the light you want to bring in and all that kind of stuff. I agree. It might be a little too dark on the left-hand side especially the left bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially yeah. that. Yeah. 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 All right, really good. Let's see the data on this one. Let's see if we can get to that real quick. So this is interesting. Um, so you would think they'd use a, a little shallower depth of field on this. I don't know, maybe they practiced or play, played around with it, who knows. Uh, ISO must have been a dark situation of, for 2,500 ISO because you would have probably wanted to shoot this at somewhere around 100 or 200 or, you know. 
Probably uh, slow the shutter speed down since this probably wasn't yeah. moving too much. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's exactly right. But anyway, it still worked out good. I don't see any grain, unnecessary grain or noise or mm -hmm. anything in it. So I think, um, you know, it, it turned out, it turned out fine as is, but I don't think all that extra light and speed needed to be there. Probably not. Okay. All right. So. Well, that's a short, a short one, but here we go. Chicks Talking Picks again, if you want to send us your images, and we really appreciate that you do send them to us and trust our opinions and discussion mm -hmm. about them. Uh, the fair is coming up, so you want to do that as soon as possible because we're putting images in the queue right now that, um, uh, let's see, what what is the date, uh, April? Uh, it was a April 15th, I believe is what Lois said. April 15th. So you it's want to definitely. But, and it's at 8 p.m. rather than their usual midnight or something. Yeah. So, that, yeah, that's right. That's the deadline for submitting to the fair. So, if you want your images looked at by us, you're, you're going to need to get them to us really soon. So, um, to try your best. We'll be looking for them. <laughs> and if you want to get notified when that episode comes out, if you do submit some images, um, while you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and the little all bell and it will notify you for our next episode. Yeah, we're getting up there. We almost have 100 yeah. subscribers, huh? Are we? Okay, I haven't looked lately. <laughs> I know we had a couple comments come in. Thank you for those. Yeah, we appreciate that. Any comments are, are appreciated. All right, everybody. Thanks. Have a great day and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Okay, bye. Bye.